Welcome to Real World J2534. Um, I call it Real World because we talk about problems. It doesn't exactly. always work right. That was a Tech 2. What's it hooked to right now? Car, right? Mm -hmm. So now I hook this to the computer, RF-232, and the computer is online to the internet, to General Motors. The wire okay. pin, which is pin 1. Remember what I said? You needed a J2534-2. You wrote that down. Good. To do single wire high speed, a single wire low speed CAN. Single wire CAN, pin one. ECU, so like clusters and radios and liftgate modules. It doesn't work so good on that. You have to have the dash and two you for that. Click on the service bulletin that matches your symptom. You looked up in the system, there's a service bulletin, you click on it, and now it will get that cow. You'll open the file up and it'll say, okay, it launches. Calibration Update Wizard, their program to manage from Toyota's web to your computer. It will open that up automatically. You'll have some verbiage like that. What program oh, are you using? Print it. Save it to a file folder. Make yourself a Chrysler file folder. This thing is huge, but every Chrysler car you got is on the list there. This thing is updated every few months. months. He says, basically, you're going to get a 630. Good news is, it doesn't turn the light on. It's a type C OBD2 code. Bad news is, you're not turning it off, that, that, that code off. It won't turn the light on, but it's in there. It'll bug you, maybe the other tech, when you get your call. latest cal, change a few bits of data. It goes with that other data back in there, the data that was, it had to begin with. So that's the opposite of the as-build data. It, what's that term for that? Who's, who does forwards and IDSs? When you don't do as-build, what's it called? Just normal programming? Is that it? We'll call it that. Ford Silver Bullets. And this is from Craig. Craig Tulia, TST member. He says he's having difficult navigating in general. The website's not very user friendly. Uh, having to disable the pop-up blockers because the, the computer's got pop-up blockers and the Ford Motorcraft website doesn't like that. Very difficult to update drivers for your J tool to use on Ford for whatever reason. Easy to forget, click the tab uh, for your user ID for the third time. So you've got to keep putting your user ID in, hit it three times. He says he's frustrated with Ford software. So many additional steps closing out something called Taskman that runs early on the program. you got a Kardak Plus, but it says Snap-on on it. When you power up the, the application, it says Snap-on on your screen. Instead of Kardak, they have a custom chip to do that. And when uh, Hyundai sees the custom chip, it doesn't think it's a Kardak. Even though it really is, it doesn't think it is. So it says, Pfft. talk to the hand, because the chip's not on doing what it says, and you're done. Then after the end, we've made an assessment to begin with, so we know exactly what to do. I've got to do a vehicle stability control reset. I've got to do steering angle. I've got to do crankshaft position variation relearn. Hey, I can do that on my Tech 2. Or my, or my snap on, I can do this, shorting some wires. I know what I've done, I've researched the beginning, I finish up, read all the codes, make sure everything's cleared, I didn't cause any issues, I'm done. Collect the money and spend it. That's it. Thank you guys.